There it is. What day is it? <laughs> okay, 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 I'll stop that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Groundhog Day. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. We made it to Friday. Aren't you glad? Well, I don't know. Maybe every day seems the same. I don't know. I'm glad. Ashley's glad. I'm glad. Because Friday, we get to talk about how many times you did this workout with me during the week. Absolutely. So. Uh, three times with me, and it doesn't have to be, it didn't have to be um, uh, at live. It didn't have to be live. I could have been dead. I could have been <laughs> <laughs> live on tape recorded behind CR Elementary School. So three times this week would be an A. Three times. Oh, look at that. There's three times from my bride. Three times. That's an A. Way to go, you guys who got A's. Good go. job. Good job. Well done. Uh, two times. Two times would be a B. So let's see those Bs. Let's see those Bs right out there, out there in Facebook Live land. Good job. Good job, everybody. Good job. Now, one time. One time is still a passing grade. That's it's perfect. a C. So way to go. You guys got one time making it a C. So that's, our, that's what we've done for this week. Uh, a, a little reminder of some of the things that we've talked about since we went live. First of all, the very first uh, live broadcast came with, uh, with me putting the camera sideways. So if you, uh, if you saw that live, it was sideways the whole time. And then later on, I was able to, to ride it so that it wasn't, it wasn't jacked up. Uh, but so there's been some learning. There's been a learning curve to this. But one of the things that I that I'll continue to talk about are some of the things that I've referred to as uh, the fitness industry's dirty little secrets. Uh, and here's one of them. I'll remind you again. Here's one of them. There's a lot of dirty little secrets from the fitness industry. Uh, here's the one. Here's here's a big one. Eighty percent of your weight loss success is diet it's not any fancy program it's not a stationary bike it's not any of those things uh, so you got 80 percent now a lot of exercises are good for for calorie burning running is, a, is great for calorie burning but you're only average you're only going to burn 100 calories per mile that you run so let's say you go out and you run uh, a, a mile or you run three miles and it's the same thing running or walking you're gonna burn the same amount of calories per mile. So let's say you go out and run three miles. You run three miles and you've burned how many calories? Come on out there, math majors. You run three miles, you burn 100 calories per mile, you've run, you, you burn 300 calories, let's say. About 100 calories a mile. So 100 average. calories a mile per average. So you got 300 calories that you've burned. Uh, then on your way home from your run, you stop by uh, Dunkin Donuts and get you a couple of those and by the time you've eaten them and gotten home you've you've now you're now in a calorie uh, surplus because each one of those donuts is probably about 250 calories so that's 500 calories there so you see how this works it's the diet uh, we often say that uh, abs are made in the kitchen so any of those programs that that have uh, bare bellied people and uh, they're pointing to the success of a program. That's, that's marketing. I'm not gonna say it's lies and deceit, but it is lies and deceit. So be aware of that. So there's, there, there's something that we'll remind ourselves as we go. And then um, there's, a, there's one of my stories that has been requested. Well, I don't know if it's been requested, but I'm gonna tell it All anyway. Of All of my stories are wonderful and should be repeated. I'll tell this one as we go. It involves a summer when I attempted to be a professional triathlete. Oh, yeah. That's right. Some of you guys don't know that one summer I attempted to be a professional triathlete. I've done about 120 something triathlons and it's really not that hard to be able to accumulate that many if you started doing them in the late 70s and you did five, six, seven a year. But it didn't. 40. But I'm only 40, right? That's, how could that even happen? Okay, I so. Oh, there's a question on the floor. Who are 
I always forget to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm still Tony. That's right. That's right. So those of you that are new to this, I'm Tony Ludlow, Sergeant Tony's Fitness Boot Camp. 20 years doing this. Uh, certified, uh, certified running coach, uh, certified in yoga, uh, group exercise, fitness, personal training, nutrition. I'll, I'll get back to nutrition in just a second. Uh, and a PhD candidate in with a concentration in health and human performance. Let me circle back to the nutrition just for a second. I took a six month course and passed a test and I can call myself a nutritionist, but I am not a registered dietitian. My wife is a registered dietitian. A registered dietitian is the top of the, of the food chain, if you will, <laughs> where, it, where it pertains to uh, nutrition. So get your nutrition advice from someone who has an RD after their name. There are people who, who have a Bachelor of Science degree in food science, uh, then they went through a, uh, a one-year internship and then they had to pass a test and then they have to continue to pass tests and stay up on all of that. You know what else RD stands for? What else does RD stand for? Real deal. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I hope you guys out in Facebook land did not hear that. <laughs> would you like uh, to know who's watching this? Yes, one? I would like to know. We have Katie Carpenter. Hey Katie, hey, hey, hey. Wiener Dog. Wiener Dog, hey Melissa. Woo Lisa Jensen. Hey Lisa. Keith Renard. Hey Keith. Matt Sorry, Matt. He got six workouts in this. Way to go, Matt. Way to go. Good job, Rika man. Rika Davis. Hey. Ashley Kraut. Hey, 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 Ashley. We hey. have Sherry Vertiz Irwin. Hey, Sherry. Lisa Allen. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. How are we you? We have Jay Mack. Jay Mack. We have Stephanie Thompson. Hey, Stephanie. And Jenny Rudemiller. Hey, Jenny. Cranky Pants. Cranky Pants. Her name is yeah. actually Angela, I, but Cranky Pants just seems to work. Did I already say Jay Mack? You did say J Mac. Yes. All right, we'll get to some of you guys. And if you're out there, um, uh, say hello in the comments. Say, hey, I'm here. And if this is, if you're not, if you've never met me face to face, then put that in there too. Say, hey, Tony, I'm I'm whoever you are, and this is, and I'm wherever you are, Colorado or Washington. We will or, not stalk you. Uh, no, 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 no. And none of, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna contact you on Facebook and say, hey, man, how about some money? But I might. No. Okay, okay I won't. <laughs> okay, I'm taking this off. Listen, I don't know about you guys without the Ooh, haircut, but I'm going full on Gordon Gecko from Wall Street. I get up every morning and start slicking it back. <laughs> slicking it back. It's getting out of hand. It's Look at it. Pretty. Look at it. It's, per it's pretty. Yeah. I haven't had hair this long since the 70s. Okay, it's not. That's not true. Okay, this morning we're going to circle back to a, a workout that we did uh, earlier in our Facebook Live uh, broadcast, and that's the variable speed workout. I'll, uh, I'll explain that as we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, the studio audience loves the variable oh, speed. Oh, the well, I'll talk about my shirt here hey, in just Rebecca a second. Watching all the way from Ohio. Rebecca Marshall is watching all the way from Ohio. Hey, hey, Mary. Hey, 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 y'all. Look here. This is my Memphis Strong t-shirt, and it could apply to anywhere in America where people are doing it right, but this is... This is Memphis Strong here. We got variable speed workout this morning, so we'll start off with the little warm up to side straddle hops for 10. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, One two, three. Two, and I'll try not to yell so loud three, that it messes up your speakers. Four, One, two, three. Five, I'm not going to whisper though. Six, that would just be seven, creepy. Eight, One, two, three. Nine, One, two, three. Ten. Ten's all we need. Get your dumbbells. We're going to do a set of wide stance sumo squats. We're going to do three sets of these at a at variable speed and I'll explain if you've not done this workout before I'll explain the philosophy behind it so dumbbells in your hands this is just regular squats we're not doing any presses regular squats no press ready exercise one two three one one two three two one two three two one two three two one two three four one two three five one two three, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. Ten. One, two, three. Eleven. One, two, three. Twelve. One, two, three. Thirteen. One, two, three. Fourteen. One, two, three. Fifteen. One, two, three. Sixteen. One, two, three. Seventeen. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. And I. I said, yell. That's why, what she's here for. Okay. <laughs> well, if I yell real loud, right. the it'll distort the the speaker and for, um, the microphone. And for those of you that are new, this little deal here on the front of my visor, oh, this little <laughs> this little fuzzy thing, it's not a it's not an accent for my for my visor. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's a uh, microphone, it's a wireless mic with a little fuzzy windscreen. Whoop! Oh, uh -oh. Fuzzy windscreen just came off. So hold on, technical difficulties. Melissa Nelson Moore is also watching. Do you remember her? She was my kidney donor lady. I sure do. Yeah. Hello, Melissa. You were so sweet and kind to us when Ashley donated her kidney, Ashley donated a kidney, her kidney to a complete stranger some years ago. So that's right, she, she stepped down to marry me. That's, yeah. Someone called it a muffin nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a muffin nose. All right, here we go, let's do the second set. Second set will be done at a slow motion cadence. The first set was done at a regular cadence. Slow motion cadence, so it'll be four counts down, four counts up, and remember, you're not gonna be a Pop-Tart. When you go down, you don't pop up like a Pop-Tart in a toaster. You go down slow, you come up slow. Here we go. Four counts down, four counts up. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. One, two, three, and freeze in the down position for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, one. Put the dumbbells down and walk that off. The studio audience is losing their minds. <laughs> Let me tell you the philosophy or the, the intent behind the variable speed workout. We have two types of, of muscle fibers in our body, fast twitch and slow, slow twitch. Fast twitch, slow twitch. Uh, average people generally have about a 50-50 split in how much they have. Fast, to, uh, to slow. Your elite athletes have more of one than the other. We'll talk about that in a second. So we're, the variable speed is our attempt to, uh, to work both fast and slow twitch. So on that note, what you do next for your last set of squats will be a, a quick time. So what, you don't need to use the dumbbells because you're gonna go down and up, down and up as quickly as you can go. Down and up as quickly as you can go. You'll be on the clock for this for 30 minutes. Okay, just, just one, that's a joke. All right, Sam, I ready and go. Up and down, up and down as fast as you can go. You may need to take a break after doing this. What's that? Yeah, Ashley's reminding me that if you catch some air, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. You may find that it's also a heart thing. Yeah, so keep doing this, keep doing this. And I'll let you know how much time we have left if you want to know. If you want to know how much time we have left, then listen. If you don't want to know, cover your ears. We got 30 seconds. So we're halfway there. Yay. Yeah, so down and up quickly. Sometimes people like for me to do this. <laughs> yeah, Tony, do that, do that cowboy thing. <laughs> Five. Four, three, two, one, and we can walk that off. <laughs> Some people just signed off. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Let's see if there's anything else I need to tell you guys um, about the variable speed. I don't think so. I think that's, I think that's it. Not every, every exercise will do quick time for safety reasons. And speaking of safety, yesterday I posted 
a montage of people <laughs> exercising at home and they were exercise fails. If you haven't seen that, look on the page. And speaking of, I was asked by someone, Tony, how do I, how do I watch this? Do I just go to the, the boot camp Facebook page and, and you'll be there? And I, I said, well, I guess, I don't know. I've never, I've never done this. So if that's what happens, confirm that that's what happens so that when people ask, I can give them, I can give them the right information. My wife wants to me to remind you to share. Share this. Like it. Share it. They share it themselves and it's going to be on their page and they can go back to it. There you go. Okay. Second set's going to be, or your second exercise will be push-ups, of course. And we'll do the, the push-ups. We'll, uh, we'll do the quick time push-ups first because, well, because if we don't do quick time push-ups first, we won't do quick time push-ups at all. So quick time push-ups. And you can do the quick time push-ups in one of two ways. I'll show you both ways. One is just what you would expect, just push-ups done as quickly as you can as you can go. Then the other one is the machine gun. Now the, the sound effects are optional. I don't know. I think they should be Okay, I'm gonna put you on the clock for the quick time push-up. Ready, go. Quick time push-up. You're on the clock for this. And you may find that you need to take a, a break after you've done 20 or so. Could they do it from your knees, You sure can do them. This is me doing them from my knees and from my toes. And you may take a break. Your break shouldn't last but more than a few seconds. Then you go right back to it. We got Deborah watching and Liz from Austin, Texas. Hey, Deborah and Liz from Austin, Texas. How awesome is that? How are things in Austin? Weird? That's all I, <laughs> I've never been to Austin, so I, but I hear that you guys need to keep Austin weird. 15 more seconds, 15 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can relax. You don't need to go anywhere. In fact, you're gonna flip over on your back and do a little crunching. So pick a, Pick a crunching exercise, bicycle crunches, any kind of, of uh, abdominal exercise. You're welcome to do that for about 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Recover and roll over up on your stomach. We'll do our Second set of push-ups. Second set of push-ups. I may have gotten someone that says when you do the machine gun push-up, you sound a little bit like Jim Dorian. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you how old that person is. That person that just said that is older than 20. <laughs> Jimmy Durani. Uh, Sandy. <laughs> Sandy, what do you know about Jimmy Durani? I believe that's what he was, I believe that's what he was, I believe that's what he was, yeah, yeah. Okay, second set of push-ups. This will be done at a regular cadence, regular cadence push-ups. So, so it'll be one, two, three, one. Here we go, starting on our stomachs, stand by. Push up, Marine Corps, ready, exercise. And one, two, three. 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 Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. That'll do it. Flip right back over on your back. And let's crunch again. You can do all, all you, you can also do leg lifts. So put your hands under your, your own booty. Make your legs straight. Raise your straight legs up to 90 degrees. Then lower them down to six inches above the deck. Raise your head and shoulders up, look at your feet, and flutter kick down. And that'll be a, a little leg lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's your, uh, we're going to roll over and we'll knock out the last set of push-ups. Oh, yes, Woo! everyone's excited about the last set of push-ups. So the last set of push-ups will be done 
at a slow motion cadence. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Tony, all of my push-ups have been done at a slow motion cadence. Well, I know. Well, this is just be a third set of what you've already been doing. So, your third set of push-ups, slow motion. So we'll start on your stomach. There'll be four counts down and four counts up. Just follow along with me. Stand by. Push up. Marine Corps, ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and touch. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven. One, two, three, and freeze for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right. And you can walk that off, or you can roll over on your back and do some more crunches, but we'll take a short break in between the, these two, uh, in between the push-ups, and the next uh, exercise will be lunges. So we'll take a break for just a second. For those of you that have been able to communicate with, with Ashley, uh, her work has her in a conference call right now. And so if you normally got information to me through the comments that she would be able to relay back to me, uh, she's going to be out of pocket. So well, work 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 calls okay okay if you guys saw the uh, the Matthew McConaughey pictures of him in zoom conferences and other things you realize that you know the movie stars really they're a whole lot like us well maybe not exactly but you know what I'm saying okay let's do some uh, walking lunges so I'm gonna put you on the clock for this I'll show you what I want you to do and you do walking lunges at a regular cadence you use one or both dumbbells. You do walking lunges like this. However much space you have where you are, walking lunges. Now, if you don't have much space, if you don't have much space, then you can step forward and then back and step forward and then back. So whatever you're able to do, you're on the clock for this, ready to go. Walking lunges wherever you are. Oh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. I have an announcement in a second. <laughs> we're doing walking lunges now you're still doing this for another another 35 seconds or so walking lunges keep your back straight and your head up keep your back straight and your head up uh, don't lean forward your back should be perpendicular to the deck the whole time 25 more seconds Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can put the dumbbells down from your walking lunges and just walk that off. I don't know why we always say that. Coaches, trainers, all of us will say, okay, go ahead and walk that off. Back when I was a kid, coaches would say, rub some dirt on it if we had an injury. And I'll just tell you right now, that did not work. Rubbing dirt on it did not work. Okay, that was your walking lunges at a, obviously a regular cadence. Now what we'll do is walk in, we'll do uh, stationary lunges, stationary lunges at a slow motion cadence. So uh, with the left leg forward, right leg back, dumbbells in your hands, like luggage, and we'll do four counts down and four counts up. Left leg forward, left leg forward, right leg back. Ready, exercise, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, one. One, thank you, Sandy. Sandy's here, studio audience. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, and freeze in the down position for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put that down and walk that off. Yeah, that, uh, you should felt, you should have felt the burn then. You should have felt the burn. So walk it off, get the lactic acid to move around a little bit, and then we'll go the other way. Okay, here we go. Dumbbells right back in your hands. Now we'll do the other, we'll do the other way. So the other way was left leg forward, right leg back. Now we do right leg forward, left leg back. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. One, two, three, and freeze for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And put that down. Woo! And walk that off. That, uh, that burns a little bit, y'all. Okay. I'll go ahead and start setting up this, this story of that summer that I attempted to be a professional triathlete. Now, for those of you that may not know, what is required to be a professional triathlete? Well, you have to make application to the association, of course, and then you have to have a sponsor. And I had a sponsor. My brother-in-law's body shop was my sponsor, so, so I, wore, I wore hats and t-shirts and singlets that said, Clifton Body Shop, while others had Nike, Adidas, Saucony, I was sporting the body shop, and I was grateful to do it. Okay, so that summer, I was doing a, a triathlon, and let me just say this too, I've never won a triathlon, I've never, I've never placed in a triathlon, not even in my, well, I have done it in my age group, with a really small triathlon where, you know, there just weren't that many people, or there was no one in my age group, and I won it. So this was, this was one of those, it was hot, it was a big triathlon, and we finished, and I was just glad to be done with it, because it was so hot and miserable. But we were sticking around for the award ceremony that followed the, the event. That's where our story We'll pick back up. Okay, now for your quick time lunges. Quick time lunges will be done exactly as you might expect. Quick time, just like this. So you're gonna do this, quick time. Now, if you have some knee issues, and I've had surgery on both of my knees, so I understand. If you have knee issues, and that's not something that you can do, the, uh, the impact, you can do this instead. You can do this, you can go. And then, and then switch. Do this again, do this again, and switch. If that also irritates your, your knees, then don't do either one of them. Feel free to just walk around and step it off like that. Okay, you're on the clock. Ready and go. You're on the clock. Quick time, quick time uh, lunges. I'll show the different ways it can be done. You can do them this way. You can do them this way. You can also do them this way, you can also do them this way. This is not exactly what I'm after, but it's something that you may be able to perform without too much trouble. 30 more seconds, 29, 28, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and there you go. Walk that off. Walk that off before we get to our next series of exercises. We got a short break. So back to the back to the uh, to the story. So <coughs> I was just glad to be done with the triathlon. Like a lot of events, I was just glad to have it done with. I've run 18 full marathons and 47 half marathons. And most of those, I was just happy to be done with them, as was the case with this one. So we're standing there, and my, my oldest son, he's about four or so, and he's standing next to me. And the MC is calling out uh, names of people where they placed. And then the crowd would applaud as that person's name was called, and they went up to receive their award. So... Um, so like they would say, and coming in in the 20 to 25 age group, uh, third place is Joe Schmuckatelli. Congratulations, Joe. Way to go, Joe. Congratulations. And so then, and coming in second in the 20 to 25 age group would be uh, Mark Smellfungus. Come on up here, Mark. Way to go, Mark. Good job, Mark. Congratulations. Congratulations. So that was the scene. We were doing a lot of that. Names were being called. We were applauding and saying congratulations to whoever that was. There's where our story will, will pick up next time. Okay, now what we're going to do this time is flies and pullovers. So we're going to do flies and pullovers, and these will be done at a regular cadence. Flies and pullovers at a regular cadence. So get your dumbbells in your hands. Get on your mats on your back. And we'll do flies and pullovers with your hands facing inboard. Keep your arms relatively straight. Slight bend is okay. Here we go, ready, exercise. Go out for one, two, take it back for three, and that is one. And one, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, now when you take your arms back, your arms should also be relatively straight. Don't bend your arms at the elbows. And one, two, three, that's six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, if you want to add some pizzazz to this, you can also bring your knees into your chest and do leg extensions at the same time, like this. One, two, three. 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 Sixteen. One, two, three. Seventeen. One. Two, three, eighteen. One, two, three, nineteen. One, two, three. There we go. That's all we were going to do with that. Now, with your already on your backs, go ahead and cross your ankles in the air, reach around your legs, touch fingertip to fingertip, and do this quick time. You're on the clock for this for 30 seconds 29, 28, 27, 26, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, you can recover. And now we're going to do slow motion flies. So get your dumbbells back in your hands, on your backs. Push the dumbbells straight up, hands facing inboard. And we'll do slow motion flies. Four counts out, four counts back. Ready? Exercise. Go out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and freeze all the way open for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go, put the dumbbells down. Don't go anywhere. Go ahead and flip over on your stomach and we'll plank. We'll plank for 30 seconds. On your stomachs, let's plank elbows and toes if you're able for 30, 29, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back on your backs with your dumbbells in your hands. Now we'll do the pullovers, slow motion, with your hands facing your feet. So push the dumbbell straight up, hands facing your feet. Ready, exercise. Go back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and freeze all the way back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Put the dumbbells down and everybody up on your feet. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. And you've got another little short break. And I'll make another installment in today's story. So where we were, we were standing in front of the uh, stage where the crowds of people were gathered there outside at the pavilion thing where they were handing out awards. And we were saying congratulations to everybody. And as I mentioned, my four-year-old son was standing next to me and I, feel, I felt him, felt him, you know, tug, tug on my shorts. And, and I, I looked down, I said, yes, son. And he said, he said, Dad, why, are, why aren't they calling your name? I said, well, son, I, I, didn't, I didn't win anything. It's, it's a sad thing to have to admit to your, your child that you want to impress, but you have to also admit. Eh. So the, the thing continued to go on. Congratulations, Bob, way to go. Bob, good job. We'll, go, we'll come back to it in just a second. Okay, that was your flies and pullovers. Now we're gonna do a set of, of uh, Swiss Army knives. We'll be doing this, of course, at a regular cadence because we're gonna do all of them. So it'll be hack squats for 10, rows for 10. And when you do the rows, you need to bring your, your hands all the way up. Your hands should be coming really close to your armpit and then all the way down. So there's a full range of motion. Then we'll do bicep curls. And again, you wanna go all the way up and all the way down. You don't wanna do this. You don't wanna do this. A lot of people cheat like that. So don't do that. It should be all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Then after we do that, then we'll do um, a pressing exercise. We'll do either military presses or Arnold presses. Military presses are done with your hands facing forward, all the way up. Arnold presses your hands facing inboard and they rotate as they go up and then rotate again as they come back. And then tricep extensions where you keep the dumbbells back behind your head for the entire time. You don't bring the dumbbells forward. Let me move back here so you can see. So you, you, don't, you don't bring them forward at all. As soon as it comes forward and breaks that imaginary line extending up from your spine, you started to cheat. Okay, here we go. We'll do Swiss Army knives, hack squats first for 10. In the down position, ready? Exercise. One, one, two, you'll say two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, niner, nine, ten, ten. And now the rows, exercise. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, niner, nine, 
10 bicep curls exercise. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, niner, nine, ten. Arnold presses exercise. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, niner, nine, ten. Tricep extensions exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, niner, ten. There we go. Put that down. Now give yourself some room. Let's do some agility drills, shall we? We'll get this out of the way. Agility drills. Let's do two-step shuffle and touch. Do that for 10, then side shuttle hops. Remember now, so this is one, two. Now touch, that's one. And that's two. And that's three. Give me 10 of those, then side shuttle hops. Go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then side shuttle hops. Three, two, one, and walk that off. So, as the uh, award ceremony was continuing, after a little while, Matthew again pulled on my shorts and I said, yeah, son. He said, dad, why aren't they saying congratulations to you? Well, son, I didn't win anything. So they're not gonna call my name. And so we went back to applauding. Way to go, Bob. Congratulations, Mike. Good job, Amanda. Congratulations, Betty. So after a little while, he pulls on my shorts again. Now I'm a little impatient. As you parents of small children know, sometimes you can get a little bit impatient. So he pulls on my shorts again, and that's where we'll come back to in a second. So now let's go back to the dumbbells. Get your dumbbells in your hands. Now we're gonna do a set of rows, slow motion. So slow motion rows, all the way up, all the way down. Four counts up, four counts down. Ready? Exercise. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, and freeze all the way up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go, put that down. Let's do a little balance work. So you're gonna plant the left leg, bring your right leg up and, and, and cross it over like this. Make a figure four. We're gonna do the standing figure four pose. But we're gonna, not gonna just stand, we're also going to, to uh, sit down and turn it into a squat. So like this, now bend your left knee or whichever leg is supporting your body and hold that for 30, 29, 28, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stand up now. For those of you new, we're doing this behind a uh, elementary school and the elementary school bell system doesn't know that, that there are no children here. So the bells go off at, uh, at eight 
and then again at 8 15 I guess is that what time it is 8 15 okay now let's go the other way plant the right leg bring the left over make the four and then you're gonna bend your right knee until you're down as far as you can go and then you're gonna hold this for 30 29 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 there we go you can walk that off way to go sandy good job sandy's doing a fine job in ashley's absence ashley had to go get on a conference call so sandy's sandy's doing a fine job of taking up the slack okay now dumbbells in your hands we'll do a set of slow motion bicep curls so it'll be four counts up and then four counts down here we go ready exercise one two three four five six seven one one two three four five six seven two one two three four five six seven 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 one two three i'll praise you too soon dinner six seven eight one two three four five six seven one two three four five six and freeze right there for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and put that down and do this a little bit that may help you to feel a little bit better maybe we'll see okay let's do another little set of agilities we'll do the uh two-step shuffle and and touch i'll uh i use i use a couple of these cones as uh my imaginary um my imaginary tractor tire and whatever you've got at your house to use maybe you have a tractor tire at your house if you have a tractor tire then go ahead and bust that thing out and use it for this but anything will work just something to to uh, imagine stepping in so step in step out step in step out every time you step out that's one we'll do 10 of these then side straddle hops ready go that's one one two two one two three one two four one two five one two six one two seven one two eight one two nine one two ten and side straddle hops three two one and we'll walk that off and i'll get a little sip of water you may want to do the same thing yourself so we'll get back to the story in a, in a second so we've done the uh, slow motion uh, rows. We've done slow motion uh, bicep curls. We're not doing any of those exercises fast. And the reason for that is that the, those, those uh, smaller muscle groups, when done fast like that under a load, it's, it's not uncommon for people to get injured doing that. And in 20 years, We've had, in 20 years of doing three classes a day, five days a week for 20 years, we've only really had three injuries over the whole period of time. And uh, one of those injuries was me. I stepped, I was doing side straddle hops and I stepped down on a dumbbell that was behind me and I twisted my ankle. Um, fortunately that hasn't happened here so that on live TV, I twist my ankle and go down. Wouldn't that be entertaining? No, it would not be entertaining, you evil people out there. So I've tried to design a program that's both challenging but also safe. And really, what's the point in getting, getting yourself injured training to do other things in your life? It that's, that's, doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, so back to, back to this. So we don't do those exercises with the smaller muscle groups 
quick time like that because I don't necessarily see the point in it, but I also don't want to see myself or anybody else get injured unnecessarily. Okay, now you can always do some quick stuff like this at your house. If you want to grab somebody in your house, just start doing this to them like that. That'll be a little quick time. I'm kidding, of course. No violence. No violence in your house. How many of you out there in Facebook land, how many of you are close to violence in your house? You know what I'm talking about. You, 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 you're getting, yeah, it's, it's reaching critical mass. I understand. That's not the case with Ashley. She's adorable all the time. I may be the cranky one, really. So, okay, dumbbells right back in your hands. And we'll do a set of, uh, of military presses and we'll do these slow motion. So military presses, I'm gonna step back just a little bit without tripping over too much. Uh, military presses, slow motion, ready? Exercise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and freeze for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go, put the dumbbells down and get them out of your, your way so you don't trip over them. Now what we do, uh, another set of, of agility drills. Let's do crossovers, back and forth. If you don't have space to do crossovers, tell you what, let me show you. We did this the other day. I think we're calling this the one step shuffle, the one step shuffle and touch. So if you don't have enough space, about 10 yards to do crossovers, then uh, in the space that you have, do the one step shuffle and touch. So you can start that off by taking your right hand, putting it in front of your left foot, and then just making the move, making the move. And do that. We'll do crossovers if, you're, if you've got the space. If not, we're on, a, on this for 30 seconds. Uh, crossovers if you got the space. One step shuffle and touch if you don't. And we're on the clock, ready to go. For 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one, and walk that off. Okay, recover from that. So there we are back at the, at the award ceremony. And again, a lot of people, a lot of awards, a lot of, Way to go, Bob. Congratulations, George. Good job, Richard. Congratulations, Tammy. And again, Matthew pulls on my shorts. And again, now this time I've, I've lost a little bit of my patience because I'm tired of admitting to my son that I'm a loser. So he pulls on my shorts and I said, what boy, what? And in his little hand, he has found a rock that uh, Rebecca looks like the shape of the state of Ohio. And he hands it up to me and says, congratulations, Dad. I know, right? Well, I felt about, I felt about as small as you could possibly feel. And of course, I scooped him up and hugged him and cried on his neck a little bit. Then I had the, that rock mounted on a plaque with a little, with a little inscription that said, said uh, congratulations rock presented by Matthew Ludlow to his dad and the date. Isn't that a sweet story? Now, let me tell you the, the downside of that. 
uh, that grown adult son does not remember any of that. <laughs> he only knows this story because he has heard me tell it before, but he has no recollection of it himself. And all you parents know, this is what happens. You have some significant moment in your life with your child, and you think it's really great, and you've gone to maybe some real expense or trouble to make that happen. And then later on, when they're in their teenage years or beyond, they have no memory of doing of any of that. And you go, oh man. And that's what happened. But the, the, but the plaque still was there to, to remind him nonetheless. Okay, we've, uh, we've done the uh, slow motion. All we have left to do is slow motion tricep extensions. And we'll do that now. So get one or two of your dumbbells. We'll do this slow motion. Starting in the down position, I'll turn to the side and step away so you can see. Ready, exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, and freeze for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Put the dumbbells down and put them away. Ladies and gentlemen, we're changing gears. We're done with all of this. So we're going to change gears and have a couple of minutes of prayer and meditation, mindfulness, just to be quiet, give your mind a, a break. So your posture is, is up to you. I usually kind of do mine in a Japanese kneeling posture, but you're welcome to, to kneel, cross your legs, lay on your, uh, lie on your back or your stomach. Posture is not as important as the time we take to do this. We'll take two minutes beginning now. And now if you were kneeling like I was, you may want to come forward on your hands and flutter kick your legs behind you to get some circulation back in your legs. If your legs have maybe gone to sleep or gotten, as Granny would say, all stove up. And then from there you can stand up straight, roll your shoulders back, breathe in deep, and exhale slow. And we are done all done, everybody. Turn to your neighbor, wherever they are, and say, way to go, good neighbor. Way to go, all you good neighbors in the studio audience. My wife would want me to remind you to, uh, to like this and share it, like the page. Uh, uh, I think if you follow the page as well, 
there is a drop down menu from the following and there are different options for notifications and you can be notified uh, when we go Facebook Live. Uh, if I understand it right, all you have to do is just come to this page and tell your friends to just come to the page and wait. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7.30 Central Standard Time, we'll be doing this, uh, rain or shine. Uh, I wanted to close out this morning with a, a quote about friendship. I talked about my friend Leo Cancellari on Wednesday and how just a, a brief friendship of only four months made such a difference and has continued to make such a difference in, uh, in my life. And friendship can be that way. And when I mentioned that, that I'd only, I only knew him for four months, some of you friends of mine who've been friends with me for decades have said, well, what about me, Tony? I've been putting up with you for all these years. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Here's the little quote I found, not a little quote, but a great quote I found about friendship. Friendship improves happiness and abates misery by doubling our joy and dividing our grief. Love you guys. I can't wait to see you. Have a great weekend. Don't forget your one hour of continuous cardio, and I'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, y'all.